then let's consider first of all what is a mind in the grip of vicious circles well one of the most obvious instances that we all know is the phenomenon of worry the doctor tells you that you have to have an operation and that has been set up so that automatically everybody worries about it but since Worrying takes away your appetite and your sleep. It's not good for you. But you can't stop worrying. And therefore you get additionally worried that you are worrying. And then furthermore, because that is quite absurd and you're mad at yourself because you do it, you are worried because you worry because you worry. That is a vicious circle. So now, can you allow your mind to be quiet? Isn't it difficult? Because the mind seems to be like a monkey, jumping up and down and jabbering all the time. Once you've learned to think, you can't stop. And an enormous number of people devote their lives to keeping their minds busy and feel extremely uncomfortable with silence. When you're alone, nobody's saying anything, there's nothing to do. There's this, this worry, this uh, lack of distraction. I'm left alone with myself and I want to get away from myself. I'm always wanting to get away from myself. That's why I go to the movies, that's why I read mystery stories, that's why I go after the girls or anything that you do or get drunk or whatever. I don't want to be with myself. I feel queer. So, well, why do you want to run away from yourself? What's so bad about it? Why do you want to forget this? Why do you want to become yourself? Because you are addicted to thoughts. This is a drug, a real dangerous one. Compulsive thinking going on and on and on and on and on all the time. It's a habit. So, there's a difficulty about stopping.